What is up, everybody? This is Zach Zacharias. We're back with more of uh, Avernum Escape from the Pit. So we're going to continue. This time we are in the Crypt of Draft. You squeeze through a crack in an ancient stone wall, probably created by an earthquake some years past. Inside, you immediately start to shudder. It is freezing in here. This chamber is very old and much of it is ruins. There was once many murals and frescoes on these walls. They have all crumbled and now you can only make out vague shapes. It's deathly still and quiet. Okay, so we're facing off with some undead now. Grass fade up there. There is a skeleton standing at the north end of the bridge, or a ghost, or a skeleton ghost. It is translucent and it floats a foot above the ground. It stares at you with its black, bony eye sockets. Even though it isn't entirely here, you can still feel the waves of alien malevolence that wash over you. It doesn't talk. Its bare skull shows no emotion at all, and yet you are sure that this creature hates you. It watches you as you approach, evaluating you. Then when it has seen enough of the intruder into its crypt, it fades away. Somewhere below, it waits for you. Okay, so that's just another way there. But let's go ahead and continue exploring because we also have Repair Demon Slayer, which is going to be here as well. That was supposed to be a vampire? I mean, that doesn't look like no vampire to me. Okay, no demon slayer, but we did get quite a bit of loot. Wait, 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 what was in here? Ooh, energy elixir. We'll take that. There is a large sar sar sarcophagus in the corner. Inside it, instead of human remains or dried fluids, you find a sheaf of vellum. Most of the sheets have faded with age, but you are able to make some sense of them. They were left by a band of soldiers from the surface world who were in here hiding from a band of Sacerakai. They were about to leave, not finding the undead that lurked in these crypts to be preferable. In their brief exploration of the crypt, they found, by magically deciphering the plaque at the entry, that it was built by for someone named Draft. They also found a small marble key which they decided to take with them. They wrote they were about to leave to meet up with another group to the east. It says they were staying with a dragon named Montrax and that they were taking the key with them. 
Interesting. Well, we actually got that key earlier, didn't we? Yeah, I think we got, I have it already. The stone key. We have Battlefield, right? Okay, that's just the same dialogue. Not these. some banshees in here. So yeah, I'm just exploring everywhere because we do need to find Demon Slayer here somewhere. Oh dang it, not enough full use. Okay, well we have to proceed down into the crypt then. The passage's head is marked, blocked by a massive iron gate. There is a lock set in the middle, carefully carved out of marble. You place the stone key into the lock and turn it. There is a soft click and the door is unlocked. Okay, so that key we found Thanks to Mothrax at the old battlefield is what helped out there. <laughs> These undead are nearly as bad, so we're just gonna blast them as much as we can. Was she teleported there? I didn't even realize. This is a grim mortuary where bodies are collected, processed, and preserved, and then converted into the undead. This facility shows unnerving signs of recent use. Someone has restored it to operation after many years of disuse. Okay, got some skeletal warriors to fight. Light sweep doesn't really do anything if I'm being perfectly honest. Yes. <laughs> 
They're not overwhelmingly tough, so we're just using our minor spells here. One thing they do drop, though, is some rubies. We gained some XP. How much was that? Like 70s? Oh, this just summoned like monsters fight. That fool, anyway. the domination scroll it's not really that super strong anyway at this point so let's fill that Spectres and Revenants to fight. Oh, I meant to get that one too. Oh well. Actually, let's do lightning spray instead. Since that's a cryo steaming, and cryo steamings are mute eyes. Well, that one just died because of the acid. Well. In this alcove, you find the mummified body of a humanoid. It was tall and thin with a large and well-rounded head. It's not from any species you recognize. You search it but find nothing of value. Okay, so we have a strange cloak and some... something called Razor Disc. Hmm. Interesting.
Go down here. This body has been here for many years. Its tattered armor shows the crown insignia of the Empire Army. You don't find any usable equipment on the corpse, but you do find the moldy remnants of a journal. You are able to understand a few words. Luck. Demon Slayer is lost. It broke into three pieces when we could use it most. A ghoul carried the tip of the whore below. It is lost in this crypt. We took the other two pieces east in the hope that is all you can understand. Well, that's a vampire, but it also looks like a gene generic zombie, though. That one died just because of acid. Let's see here. Dang it, that, that's a dispel barrier three. That's a barrier. Fire and lightning spray is very effective. <laughs> I like how it doesn't do, do much damage, but yet you still suffer the effects of knock knock back. We actually leveled up from that. Oh no, I don't want to loot up yet. How did I not attack him? Did I? Not hit the right tile? Wow. What? 
hell did I not attack? Did it really? Did I did it really think I was trying to go to this door? Oh, whatever. <laughs> oh man. It looks like that's just a crib. What's in here? Well, puff you little zombie. What lightning scroll was that again? Ah, that's not nearly strong enough. Actually, let's explore this upper portion first. At first, the writing seemed to be in a completely unfamiliar script. But the more you look at it, the more it makes, seems to make sense. Your brain realizes what's happening. It's a common sort of magical trap. Enchanted script that forces <laughs> intruders to cast a damaging spell. It doesn't matter. You are power you're powerless to resist. As the book explodes into a clouds of dazing particles, something appears inside the protective room. Oh, more of that trap crap. And what? Through all y'all. No, I did not want to do that. A freaking slow effect. Oh my goodness, really? Okay, whatever, we have return life scrolls ready. I'm actually surprised that did not hit. I look up. Dag nabbit. Okay, we gotta. What the heck was that? Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and go there. All right, fortunately, it saved me at a good point as well. I actually did not want to do a mass healing, I meant curing, but whatever.
That's so annoying. Get away from him. I was about to say, if he would slow down again, I would be so mad. Okay, this time we actually leveled up. Alright, I wonder if that book can be read now. You start to read the trap book and then you think better of it. Without a way to bypass magical protections, you're only likely to end up dead. Alright, let's go ahead and level this up. This and this. We'll do another and two mighty blows for him. All right, strength for her. We'll do endurance. Do this and this. Hmm, I wonder if I should do one of these, actually. I was going to think about good health, but then again, these focuses might actually get summoning focus, blessing focus. Cool. So, Healing. Sword Mage. You know, it's only a few, so let's go ahead and... We... Yeah, let's do health. We already we already are pretty effective like spell wise, so Ooh, and vulnerability elixir. really can't get a shot like that though okay whatever he's he's probably gonna be immune to fire like most demons so just gonna do that well you know i think about it i think uh fiery demon is the only one that's gonna be like immune to fire so this one might be at the same time Okay, that opened something. Let me go ahead and test it, see. Oh no, he, he actually took fire damage. Yeah, it might be only the fiery demon that will be immune to fire. So keep that in mind. going here Ooh. Nope, just get right there and do this
Spectral boots. Okay, so we're gonna equip that on her. Okay, really nothing in there. Well, Dag nabbit. Oh, where did they show up? Okay, whatever. We'll blast you all just the same. Oh, there's a passageway here, okay. Now we're going to be in the Crypto Draft Level 3. I do prefer to save my game right here, so we will cover this in the next part.